Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV and in this CAD Works Live tutorial we're going to teach you all about working with color palettes in the design studio of CAD Works Live. I'm starting with a design on the screen so it's easy to show you and the first thing I want to note here is if you go to the right hand navigation and drop down this little arrow and window here you'll see the stock color palettes that are available to you within CAD Works Live. Uh, there's already a Stahl's Digital Color Palette, which has a large selection of colors, Stahl's Premium Plus, and Transfer Express, and this color palette is ever-growing. Um, so basically, if you're working with the Premium Plus material, you select that uh, from the drop-down. You can select a piece of text, and the palette will kind of come to life and show you all the shades of Premium Plus that are available to you through Stahl's. And I can just assign colors directly from that palette and design with the product I'm using. Um, if for some reason you have another product or a subset of products that you want to design from, it's very easy to create your own palette as well. All you need to do is cl click on this icon on the right, and you're able to go into the Palette Manager, which is available under your login. Now you're unable to add or delete colors from the existing palettes that are stocked within CADWorks because uh, they're not owned by you under the login, but you are able to uh, import your own palette or simply click Add Palette to begin creating from scratch. Um, so let's just call this um, Stock Colors, click OK. It'll start with a blank palette, no colors in it. All I need to do is click on Add Color, and then I can move uh, this slider around to get my proper color selection. The color that's going to be added will display in the right, uh, top right here. If I want to call this black, click OK. It'll add black to my palette. Now I'm able to add another color. Maybe there's a shade of green that I have that we're going to call apple green. Click OK. It adds to the palette. So I continue to add colors until I have all of my stock colors represented or whatever I want to design with um, whether it's ink colors um, anything it's all possible within here note that if you already have the RGB values for your color uh, you can just input those directly in uh, to dial it in once you are complete with all the colors you want to have in your palette simply click done now the next time you go to your palette drop down you'll see your stock colors under your login only for you to access these are your custom palettes. It's a great way to design with the colors and the materials or the ink colors that you're actually using. This has been a CADWorks Live tutorial by Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.